definitely more on the sexy side. It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison shop. Channel. Today is Boxing Day and we are going to the shops to pick up some good sales. So I always do this every year because I basically get the stuff that we need for the year, if that makes sense. Like stuff that we've been waiting on for like the house or for example last year we got a new vacuum. So yeah, I thought I would take you along with me. If you do want to see like this shopping Boxing Day haul, then definitely stick to the end and let's go. Where's the you? Boo! What, use your words? What is it? More water? More water? Okay. Yeah. All right guys, so I am back from the shops and let me just tell you, it was absolutely crazy. Oh my goodness. I've never seen so many people in like one building before. It was literally like a big concert or a festival, like just a pack of people. And it was like sardines and I actually didn't get much filming because I was just very distracted and trying to make my way through, if you know what I mean. You can probably hear Theo in the background. He's just in the lounge and playing with his trains. Um, so I thought I would do the little haul for you guys. I went to a bunch of different places and basically I wanted to get like a few things for me because I feel like I never like, I don't know, buy much for myself. So I actually did splurge on a few outfits which I'll show you in a minute but I picked up another one of these pots from Target because I really really loved it and I think it will look so nice probably like up there once all the Christmas stuff is packed away. Um, I have to like plant and not plant it. I also picked up a planner for the new year. So I got this, um, it's like the exact same as my other one. I did get the smaller version just because that way I can take it with me. That was one problem that I did have with the larger planner was I, if I'm out, I couldn't reflect back to it, but I can take this one. So I got this one on sale it was 40 percent off so i paid 10 bucks for it so i'll just show you briefly um so it does have like the month in it and then weekly dates so daily yeah so i got it in brown because i feel like it's a really classic color they had the floral ones there a few weeks ago which i was going to like pick up but they didn't have them there today. They must have been sold out. But I still love brown. You can't go wrong with like a leather look brown. Um, so the next thing I got was another bamboo toothbrush because we kind of need it. Um, I always like to get the bamboo, the wooden ones because they are more eco-friendly. And um, yeah, they're also biodegradable. So. If you can like help the environment in any way, shape or form, definitely pick like the better alternation because it's alternation a word. The better alternative because why not? So I did pick Isaac up a few shirts. Um, I got a bunch of stuff from City Beach, which is like a surf shop. I really love their styles and I feel like it's like a good age range for anyone. I did see older people, I saw younger people, so yeah, they have really nice stuff. So the first one I got him was this kind of like uh, like acid tie-dyed um, green shirt. It's like an olive green. I thought it was so nice. He actually got one like this for Christmas. It was like blue. Oh, you want milk. <laughs> you want some milk, guys. Come here. You want milk, darling. <laughs> You're upset. Fierce had a tough day. He didn't have a very good nap, so... He's a bit grumpy. Do you want to put this one back in the fridge? Thank you. You put it in the fridge and then your bot bot will be ready. Yeah, so the next one that I got him was this like tan creamy color. It's just a plain one. Um, I thought it was really nice and like a nicer shirt, a nicer tee. Um, so this was two for 40. 
and in my opinion that's pretty expensive for shirts but yeah um i got myself these little four dollar scrunchies i thought they were really cute so it's like a brown one a black and that same color green um i i do like stick to like the same colors so you probably like see that most of my stuff is like neutrals i do wear a lot of floral dresses though i do have to like mention that and i wear a lot of like reds but i'm like kind of steering towards more neutrals i just want classic pieces that won't go out of style and these pieces were on the expensive side in my opinion but they're like something that i'm gonna have and i wanted better quality pieces so that's why i was like right i got christmas money i may as well invest in some nicer pieces for my wardrobe um the first one is this pair of um oh what are they called they're like kind of like boyfriend jeans um they're ripped and yeah i really love like the color of the denim i think it's really like classic it gives me like those vintage pinterest vibes um so of course like you can't go wrong with denim it pretty much pairs with anything and this is so similar to the pair of jeans that i had um like the buttons and like the cut although the ones that i did have previously were like a lighter like a really light denim um, so they're very very similar these ones are like ripped which is nice anyway because I haven't got any ripped ones um, but yeah I'm basically replacing my last pair because my last pair I wore to death I wore it for five years straight like I had it for five years and I wore them so much but they did die out on me like the buttons were coming off and I just wasn't gonna fix them so yeah that is them and they were $50 so they weren't too expensive but they're expensive in my opinion um I also picked up a it's like an off-white like a creamy white skirt um I thought this would like I really love the fabric let me try and yeah it's like a linen fabric and it's got this little lace here um this will like match with pretty much every shirt in my wardrobe um and that would be great for summer because i literally don't i have one pair of denim denim shorts that i don't really like wearing because they're not like that comfortable and i have one denim shorter skirt and it just gets hot like i just needed something a bit shorter because i pretty much have pants and i have a few like dresses but yeah i wanted to get a skirt for a really long time like something that was comfy I got this on sale for $29, it was $60. I'm really stoked about it because it's such a like piece that you can like pair with anything. Um, it's like this linen kind of looking um, blouse top. I love blouses, I think they're so classic. Um, I think the texture of it is really nice. You can throw it over your swimmers, you can tuck it into jeans, you can wear it with skirts um you could layer it with a dress in the winter um this is perfect for summer anyway because it's like a lighter material and it's gonna like protect from the harsh sun lights i just love these neutral colors i think they're so timeless so the those were all the things that i got from city beach and then i got a few basic pieces from cotton on I got a gift voucher which I paid the diary with and I picked up this um, just a basic like little midi tank top it's like ribbed um, I actually tried the skirt on with this and I thought it was really nice but it's just good to have like this neutral color just in case you have something that's a little bit more revealing or if you just want to chuck it on with summer with like some high-waisted pants um, or like a high-waisted skirt. I thought it was just really nice. Um, I also picked up this white uh, Like I guess summery beachy dress. I love white <laughs> um, And actually it's pretty easy to take care of um, Unless you have like chocolate or something <laughs> uh, Yeah, so this is just this white piece 
And I really like the details of the buttons. I think they're really cute. Yeah. I also picked up some um, high-waisted undies. So I got like a G-string and some briefs. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to convert all my undies over to black and nude because I like wear so much white and I... We well, just can't go wrong with black undies, but I the reason why I went with the high waisted ones was because obviously after you have a baby things aren't as like tight as they can be, so at least like the high waisted ones can kind of like just make your figure look a lot more flattering. Um, yeah, so I actually have quite a lot of high waisted underwear and. They're just really great staple pieces to have in your wardrobe. From Cotton On, I also got like this really cute tote bag. I don't normally buy tote bags, but I prefer these over handbags just because I still use my nappy bag. But this is for something if I don't have as much stuff, for example. Like if I just have a nappy of wipes in my wallet, then I'll take a tote. Um, I thought this was so cute. So I think this might milk, replace my banana milk, bag. Milk. More milk! He is milk crazy today, guys. Hey, you just want milk? Don't shake the table. Are you gonna put this one back? I only ever pour him like a little bit at a time, so like he always comes back. I should probably pour him more, but we'll see if he comes back for a third time. Can you put the milk away? Put the milk in the fridge. Put it away. Good boy. I love it. He's so independent now. Hold on. There you go. You want both? Good boy. <laughs> he like can like bring things out. Okay, so this next one, uh, yeah, is like a little bit more of um, I guess an intimate. I actually did a video a few weeks ago. Um, it was like a bridal lingerie haul. It actually went really well. I will link the cards above if you want to check that one out. But um, basically I bought a few sets for my honeymoon, but I went back into the shops a few days ago and found that they were having a really good sale and I actually picked up another piece to match with that set. So I had the bras and undies and I picked up the suspenders today, which um, I got pretty much for free because I had $20 worth of gift vouchers anyway. Um, from spending so much last time on that lingerie. So this is the Hanky Panky range and it basically matches what I already bought. So this was on sale. It was half price for $25 and I got $20 off anyway. So I picked this little bad boy up for the honeymoon and that will like go away with the rest of the stuff. And the next thing is definitely out of my comfort zone so dad and mom do not watch this <laughs> but um you know what sometimes you just gotta do some things for yourself and why not yeah so the next thing that i got was this viva bodysuit it's definitely something a little more like different from what I'd normally pick out, but it was on sale and I feel like you can't go wrong with black stuff ever. <laughs> so yeah, this one's so pretty. It has the same type of lacy details as the Enchanted bodysuit that I got last time, um, but it's definitely more on the sexy side. It's got like that leather look in the middle and it's got the um, g-string at the back and the lace detail there which is so pretty i just love like little lacy things and you could actually wear this out uh like with some what are they called like boob covers like whole boob covers um, and like jeans. I probably would have worn that back in my like party days, but I wouldn't wear it these days because I'm um, I guess a lot more conservative than what I used to be. But yeah, it's such a nice piece to add to my collection and I just like have such an appreciation for like lingerie and their designs. I think it's so pretty. And uh, as like, like women, we can like use it to empower ourselves and boost our self-confidence and yeah, 
What is my child doing? <clears throat> he just brought me the butt off, which I think he's been eating out of the tub. So yeah, that is all the stuff that I got from the Boxing Day sales. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Just casual stuff. A lot of stuff like I bought to like, I don't know, pick myself up a bit. Because I just, I don't know where I'm going with this. But you know how you just like kind of feel like you're in a rut a little bit. Well, I just like wanted to like buy stuff to make me feel a little bit more confident and I don't know, I feel like I always put myself last and um, can Yay. never justify buying myself stuff so it's kind of nice to treat myself sometimes and I definitely encourage you to do the same thing yeah. if you're in the right position no. and yeah, I guess I'll end the video here guys because I have a toddler to look after and he's destroying my house, but that's just life, hey? So yeah, I will see you in the next video and Vlogmas is always coming to an end, guys. Isn't that like crazy? It's gone so fast, but yeah, have a great one, bye guys.